Let's have a look at the Bull Chart Scanning Tool. To do this, we open the Bull Scan Manager. At first glance, it looks a bit like the Security Manager, but this is the Bull Scan Manager. Here we can see a list of all scans. A lot of scans are supplied with Bull Charts. This list here is sorted by name. Another way to look at this list of scans, the supplied scans and your own created scans, modified scans, is to sort by category. Here's a list of categories. Some of these are categories I've created. It's easy to do. Some of these others are scan categories that already existed. We'll come back to this one uptrend shortly. Another way to look at all of the scans is sorted by author. Now, some of these are created authors, some I've added, but there's a whole bunch of scans that are based on some of Jim Berg's teaching. Likewise, Nicholas Darvis, Robert Deal, Daryl Guppy, and some scans based on Alan Hull's teachings, his principles. Also, Stephen Pearce, Stan Weinstein, and Leon Wilson. All of these scans are already supplied. The scans that are here are based on strategies of those particular trading and book authors. Hence the notion of author strategies in use in bull charts. For now, let's go back to a sample scan that I've created. It's here under categories. This one here, uptrend, 34-week EMA is rising. That's the name of the scan. We can also see that if we go to name and scroll down this list to uptrend, there it is there. Let's go here. I'll double click to open this scan and we can see the properties of that scan. This dialog box with these four tabs, we'll quickly step through it and I'll show you what they all are. Here on the general tab, there are three fields that are free text. The first one is the scan name. That's what appears in that list of scans when we sort by name. Here's the category. I've called it uptrend. And here's the author, so that, the, so that the scan can appear in the list of authors. And here is plenty of room for some text, some comments, some explanation about the scan. On the second tab, scan criteria, we can scan as at the last data update which at the moment on here is this date here. Or if I'm using snapshots, I can scan on the last snapshot, an intraday snapshot. Notice that we can scan by different periods. This one is already set to scan by weekly. And over here, we've got this box ticked to match all criteria. Now criteria, here is a list of three scan criteria. The first one says, if the share price close is greater than the 34 bar EMA of the close, then if that's the case, we'll select it. And if the second one and the third one. The second criteria, 34 bar EMA of close has increased every bar for the last 21 bars. This is one way of looking for an uptrend. Why choose 34? Good question. Think about Fibonacci. This third criteria for this scan, volume is greater than the 10 bar simple moving average of volume. So if all of these three criteria are satisfied, a stock will make it into our scan results table. And what if you don't want to match all criteria? If you want one of these to be optional, you could turn it off. That's not what you want. If you untick this box, then there are some more options in things like, is this criteria required, yes or no? Stay tuned for more of this in another video. But which stocks are we looking at? Let's have a look here at the Securities tab. At the moment, I've specified to look at the S&P ASX 200, a list of 200 stocks. If I wanted to look at a different list of stocks, I could remove that one from this list and perhaps look at the just S&P ASX 50. If I've got my own watch list down here somewhere, maybe I've got a watch list here called takeovers and I wanted to look at that one, I can add that 
and scan through that as well. It's then a case of apply to make that change and save it or apply and run and the scan will run. This advanced tab has some more features we'll come to later. Something else we'll cover in another video tutorial later is how do we change or create these scan criteria. For now, that's an introduction to scans. Thanks.